Hi everyone, you are watching Path of Ash. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today's video, we are in the living room, the most established part of my home. In my last vlog, I did let y'all know that I was getting some home decor just to have my space kind of just come together. So that is what we're gonna be doing today is doing a little bit of unboxing because it wouldn't be me if we wasn't unboxing something because like I have a shopping addiction and I probably need help, but who cares? We're getting our space together and it's all worth it. So I got the boxes right here. I have a package from Target, which was very unplanned. It wasn't anything that like I really like planned to get, but there's some good stuff in there. So I'm going to unbox that. And then I have my Amazon package as well with everything that I told y'all that I was going to get. I don't think I told y'all specifically what it was that I was getting. So we're going to be, you know, surprised when we open this box. Well, I know what it is, but y'all don't. So that's that. Um, one of the things in the Amazon box, though, is not going to get put up today because it's something that has to be assembled. And I am not a handy girl. That is going to be waiting for my husband. And he did tell me that he was going to put this together on Saturday, so I'm not going to rush him. Today is Thursday, so I'm not going to rush him at all. Y'all go see what it is. But then the rest of the stuff I'll put up, I think there's only two things in that package, to be honest. So I'm probably just going to put in one thing up. And I'm just going to show y'all everything that I got from Target. Um, we also going to bake some cookies today that I showed y'all in the last haul. Not from scratch, just them Toll House cookies. And we're just going to be chilling. I may just cut on the living room TV and cut the TV off in the bedroom because I rarely sit in my living room. So, and while I'm sitting in here, I'm still going to be thinking about everything to get that open space together. Like, something needs to be there. Like, it's just... I'm going to figure it out. Oh, update. So, we have been thinking about getting, like, a pet. We really want a dog, but dogs are like really expensive right now. So like, and then where we live, like you have to pay extra for a dog and all of that. So we just don't know how that's gonna go. So I've been thinking about maybe getting like a fish tank or something and putting it right there. Just start with little fishies. I feel like fish is like a good starter pet, even though you can't do anything with them. And my husband is so against getting a fish. Like he does not want a fish at all. Cause he's like, that's whack. But I want it for decor reasons, but then again, I would be devastated if the fish died because I had a gerbil. It was my sister's gerbil and it died. And like it, she lived over her life expectancy, but it still was like traumatizing when she died. So I don't know, maybe pets aren't really like good for me if they're not like a dog or a cat, but I'm not a cat person. And he's like, we can easily adopt a cat, but I just not a cat person. Like, I don't know. I've never had a cat growing up. I've never, only cats that I've encountered with like stray cats, so. I don't know. Maybe I will change. I was thinking on it, but that's a little update. And I need to just stop calling my husband my husband, y'all. I need to do a formal introduction of him. His name is Deontay, so I'm going to start addressing him by his name. His name is Deontay, so Deontay is against getting a fish, but I just want something right there. Like, that would be nice to have, like, a little... Oh, I'm backwards. That would be nice to have, like, a little fish tank or something, like a little kind of cabinet type of stand and have the fish tank glowing up in here. I feel like that would be really nice, but then I should have just want a pet for the core reason. So we're going to keep thinking about it and I'll give y'all an update, but let's get into opening the packages. Also, this is breakfast, guys. Drinking that Slim Fest. I told y'all I'll be doing this maybe like two or three days out of the week. So we still doing that. It make my mouth real dry, y'all. So I may have to put some lip oil on because like, I don't know, I think like the protein powder, I got to shake it up really good because like making my mouth all dusty and cloudy. We don't need that. Mm -mm. But yeah, so we drinking. We're going to open the Amazon one first because like that's the one that I was waiting on. And I saved this for y'all. I didn't open these because I wanted to open these with y'all. So like y'all welcome. <laughs> We're going to be using a nail file again because I do not have a box cutter. So, all right, so let's see how everything is in here. And I hope everything is not like, okay, I see, I see. I see. Cause this was a small box for what I thought. So the first thing that we got is a coat rack. Yes, much needed here because like, 
my husband's uniform. He always found it on the bench and all that, his hats and all that stuff. And then I have my jackets in a spare closet in our little office slash game room. And it's just not working anymore. We need a coat rack. So he gonna put this up. It looks fairly easy. Don't get me wrong. I probably could put this up on my own, but then he not gonna put stuff up for me no more. So no. <laughs> He cannot know. That's a secret, y'all. He cannot know that I can put stuff together because he's not going to put stuff together for me anymore. We can't have that. No. But yeah, that is the coat rack, which I don't know where I'm going to put it, y'all. Like, I like this space right here. But I don't think, like, I don't want the laundry room door to, like, smack it. So I was thinking about putting it in this little corner right here next to this. I can kind of scoop this over. Or maybe, yes, that bag is still there. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, but <laughs> maybe right here, depending on how tall and how big it is. So we'll see once it get all put up and I'll show y'all where we're gonna end up putting it. So there is the coat rack. And there's another little box in here that I gotta open. From Barnyard Designs. And then we're gonna put this up. So it is a tile sign for my kitchen. So I'm gonna show y'all what that looks like. Just noticed in the last clip, I still said my husband, Deontay, guys, Deontay. I just need to start calling him by his name. Oh my gosh. But let's open this so we can make sure everything's all good and not broken. And then when I get it all up, I'm gonna show y'all the final product and how it looks in the kitchen, so. Saw in bubble wrap. They kept it safe. Oh, it is so cute. Yes. So what I got, y'all, I got this um eat sign for my kitchen. I know that sounds like what, but here's the E, the A, and the T. So where it's supposed to go, it's supposed to go on this free like back wall in my kitchen. I'm gonna show y'all in just a minute after I get everything unpackaged. And they're like hanging signs. So it's gonna be easy for me to hang up with the thumbtacks. I'm one of those people that hang up heavy things with the thumbtacks, like they've been holding strong. I'm not gonna jinx myself. <laughs> You're not gonna wood. But everything's been holding up strong with the thumbtacks, a little push pin, so. Cause I don't like hammering holes into walls, especially a place that I don't own. So like, that's that. And then like the command hooks, you kind of got to wait so that everything can kind of seal. And don't look like I got time for that. I want to see how it looked today. So guys, I'm not, I'm the only one that's like a kid that just can't help it. And they just want to pop all the bubble wrap. Just gotta pop it. Like I can't help it if I see some bubble wrap. Mm. Hold on y'all, I'm gonna get a good one, look. Ah. So satisfying. <laughs> Excuse like the slight mess in my kitchen, but that is the wall that I want to put it on this back wall in here. You know, this is add some decor in a kitchen, like, cause why not? So I got all the signs. I'm gonna put the tacks up. Hopefully I'll put them straight on the first try. I don't wanna bother like my neighbor on this wall. So hopefully I get it right on the first try. These are kind of heavy though. So let's hope that they stand the test of time. Like for real. Cause we may have to put the hooks up. I think I do have some hooks, but no. After putting like little minuscule holes in the wall that I'm gonna have to cover with paint eventually, <laughs> we got it together. Now it still looks a little crooked to me. Like the T is definitely the problem. Like the T could be raised up a bit, but if you look close here, like those holes, no. I did not want to keep putting a bunch of holes in the wall. So no, 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 no. That's gonna just have to work. The more you look at it, the more it doesn't seem like a problem. But it's just like, if you're like me and like, have that perfection is when you notice it. And then it just says eat. If you look at it for a while, it looks like it says fat, but I don't know, maybe that's just like my brain mixing everything together. But there's that. 
but this is by barnyard designs on amazon i may just include the link in the description i cannot wait until i have like a good following that i can do amazon storefront because it'll be a lot easier because i get a lot of stuff from amazon y'all and i could put y'all onto a lot of things but i'm not there yet but once i get there y'all y'all can get it off my storefront and everything will be in an organized nice and neat place but until then barnyard designs y'all doesn't look bad i honestly think this is really cute y'all like it matches the vibe like you see like little things like these hanging signs i got like that Ooh, almost tripped and all of this stuff like i definitely got that farmhouse boho chic thing going on don't really know for real for real how to type where the house is going but it does look a little farmhouse cozy we got that going on so we're gonna get into opening the target package the nail file i'm probably messing up my nail file from being as sharp by doing this oh gosh all right let's see what we got in here target don't put the bubble wrap they just use like this plastic air stuff it makes too loud of a noise, so we got lots of goodies in here. Lots of goodies. All right, so I got everything on the couch. I can show y'all one by one. So we got a lot of things in here. Did it all out the box. So first thing, we got some flexi rods. There's a lot of hair stuff in this package because we about to start making some hair content. I got to get the mess together. So. We got some flexi rods. Um, these are two six packs, so it's 12 in total. It's a smaller kind because your girl like the small curls. Ever since that perm rod set came out bomb in the last vlog, your girl's back doing all the rollers. So we got that. We got bigger perm rods now this time. So we can have bouncy curls, especially with my overhead dryer. It is roller set season. I don't know what anybody told y'all, but it is. All right. So, got a new bonnet, finally. And I love like the wide band bonnets. I know y'all tired of seeing me in that purple leopard bonnet. Like I'm tired of seeing myself in that bonnet. So we had to get a new bonnet, so. Got that. And when they start getting fancy with the little wrapped up packages like that. Okay, Target, okay. All right, so. Not sure if y'all can see this through the packaging. But we got some bobby pins. Because like some of the styles like this bun, it's not secure at all. I like tied it and twist it around itself. And I know this like it will come out over time. But we don't need that. We need to secure. So I got some bobby pins because I got a lot of hairstyles I want to try with the swoop and all that. And I need bobby pins to keep everything secure. We got some ponytail holders. Because I don't have a lot of these. I've been using rubber bands and rubber bands are very damaging and we should not be using rubber bands, but I just didn't have no any choice. So don't follow me, don't do everything that I do. Make sure you're keeping your hair from breakage and get some elastics or you know the things that don't have like the little silver piece in it that's ripping all your hair out. I've noticed though, some of the ones that don't have that silver piece be having like some hard, I don't know if it's glue, I don't know what it is, but it be having like some hard things in the middle of it even though it's not that silver piece and it still be tearing out your hair i don't feel it on this one these ones are the soft ones um by the scrunchy brand so i should have got the silk ones though but i just feel like it's not gonna hold my hair like it's going to slip off just like how the bonnet and the scarf be slipping off it's gonna slip off so i got those so that's everything hair wise and y'all i don't lie and i don't play around guess what i got got some queen v cleanser because we are not using honey pot let me read queen v make sure she ain't say nothing crazy okay she's talking about environment uh, mm, environmental things that can you know affect your lady parts and all that stuff but she don't say nothing about no crazy stuff so i'm gonna pray over this Lord Jesus, please let Queen V be a good brand because, well, it is. I've used Queen V, so, like, I've noticed that, but, like, at first, I'm just buying stuff. Just, like, I made the mistake with Honey Pot. We gonna make sure Queen V is good. So, we got that. The gel cleanser. Intimate wash. And we got 
the foam wash I was talking to y'all about by L. So, you know, this is L Feminine Foam Wash. I'm gonna read this too. We on a mission for, um, okay, yeah, I know they got the organic tampons, free from chlorine bleaching, synthetic pesticides, and dyes, washes free from sulfate fragrances and parabens. All thanks for making period care accessible for all. All right, they ain't got nothing crazy. I got to read the bottle too, though. But they ain't got nothing crazy. But yes, I did what I said I was going to do, y'all. I don't lie to y'all. I replaced that feminine care, um, that uh, honey pot foam wash. Got this foam wash. And also going to try that gel cleanser so I can give y'all really really good reviews which one works best i've been using the queen v cleansing bar by itself it's always worked by itself i just wanted to add a little razzle dazzle with the foam wash because i just like that gentle foam feel it does really feel like it's getting fresh now we're not putting things in it this is just all care to wash around it to get all in the creases and folds this is not going in it like only water guys so that's fine but it's like airplanes and jets flying around so i'm so sorry if y'all can hear that but that's everything that i did get from target a little boring but it's all like just maintenance care from the house because your girl is trying to save money by doing stuff for myself and it also feels better when you do it for yourself instead of going out and getting someone to like do things for you like i've been fighting the urge like oh go to the salon get your hair done go to the salon get the subway go to the salon get some braids girl go do this do this and I'm like I, it's not necessary right now like my hair has been flourishing with me taking care of it myself washing it following my little journey so i don't really need anybody hands in it now the only thing i'll probably get professionally done is a trim but i've been you know doing a little dusting myself so we're good on that like we don't need to be wasting money let's learn to do it ourselves because they charge it and especially if you have type 4 hair if you have any kind of thick hair or anything like that they charge an extra i was trying to do like a silk press or whatever and i tried to like book it way like before it got hot y'all first it was $90 i was like ooh, silk press $90 okay then it was like charging for density and for a deep conditioning so that was like an extra 20 bucks for density and an extra 20 bucks for deep conditioning so we got 90 100 110 and 130 okay still not too bad and then like it was just charging for extra things so if you needed like your haircut it wasn't all in like included so I was going to go there under the impression that I was only going to pay 90 bucks, but then there was going to be a bunch of different charges. And I was like, you know what? We're going to save all that. Let's just do it ourselves. We're just going to do it ourselves. We're going to do our own roller sets, our own silk presses, and we're just going to do it. Like, it's no way. And like $400 for some braids, girl. I get it though, because it does cause them a lot of pain, like back pain, finger pain, because they do it 24 7. I get it. You a cosmetologist, I'm not coming at y'all. Make y'all money, charge how much y'all ever want to charge, but just like, don't be mad when people just start learning how to do their hair themselves. Like, that's just it. But <laughs> that's my rant on that. So, yeah, we just doing this. It was all beauty things, all hygiene things mostly hair care so target box is empty <laughs> stay dropping stuff i stay making a mess but we're gonna put all this stuff up in the hygiene closet that also needs to be organized but like there's a time and place for everything y'all it's a time and place for everything and right now it's not the time so it's just gonna get thrown wherever it could fit and we'll figure it out later so I'm watching Wu Tang the American Saga. I'm really way behind. Like I'm on season two. This is probably like mm, second to last episode of season two, going into season three. I watched the first season when it first came out and then I just stopped watching, so I'm catching up. So we gonna bake some cookies. I low key saw a little bit of this episode. I got into the middle, but I'm just waiting for it to get to that point again. I just started over to buy myself some time. So we gonna bake these cookies. Now I'm the baiting if I want to do it in the toaster oven. Yes, I have a toaster oven because why not? I don't want to do it in the traditional oven. Now, I did do the brownies in their like regular oven here, but I don't know because the cookie pan that I do have is really small and it goes to the toaster oven. So we're going to check it out just to, in a minute just to see. So I had to get the toaster oven out anyway to find the pans and stuff. So we're just going to use the toaster oven instead of the regular oven. It's still gonna come out the same, like if I put it on bake instead of toast or turbo, it's still gonna be good. I bake Christmas cookies in this thing, like it, it, it does the same thing as a traditional oven, so there's no 
worry about that. I just had to get it wiped down and clean though because I put so many pizzas and things like that in here. Little mini pizzas and things. So I have to get it all wiped down. But we finally got it semi-clean enough to uh, make these cookies. So we're going to get into doing that and putting it on the baking sheet. And then let's see how they turn out. Now I am just going to see what the preheat this on says 350 the toaster oven on that we gave it about 10 minutes pull this on the wall all right and also i am going to be putting it on this platter here now i originally brought this platter for charcuterie boards but i just haven't done the charcuterie board in a minute so <laughs> we're gonna just sit the cookies on this platter Got my non-stick spray. I do not know why it's spraying like that. Like, why is it spraying like that? Okay, we're just going to stop there. Because <laughs> I have no idea why it's spraying like that. And it's coming out like that, but that's okay. this up right I apologize y'all hear the ticking from the uh, toaster oven it's getting hot fast mix 12 I don't know if I can fit 12 on this sheet but we can try and I've washed my hands so we're gonna, I think we can do 12 let me mm, let's just sit that there maybe nine but then i'm gonna do three by themselves so i don't know no i think we can only do nine let's just do six and six let's just do it like that that way we have like a lot of space for them because they said they're supposed to make big cookies so we're just gonna do six and six and keep them spaced out So I put the remaining dough back in the fridge just so it doesn't like thaw out and get all like weird and wet and stuff. So the cookies are laid out with the non-stick spray that's, that did something weird. So the package said put them in for like 13 to 15 minutes. I'm just gonna put them on 15 since we are doing it in a toaster oven. I'm gonna check back periodically just to see how they doing, but they in there. So they looking a little crispy. So we gonna do the next batch on like 13 minutes instead. They're not hard though. They're not hard at all. Well, maybe cause they need to cool, but we gonna, they did come out a lot bigger than I thought they would. But we gonna scoop them up, put them on the board, have about 12 cookies. So I'll do the next batch. We'll be all done. So those are up there. Got the next batch prepped. So we're just gonna put these in for the 13 minutes. And we should be done. We all done. These look better than these, but that's okay, you know. Got some crispy, got some <laughs> salt. But that's all, y'all. We did everything that we were supposed to do. I'm just gonna end the vlog here because we really didn't have that much going on but that's okay that's been what it is so i will see y'all all in the next video thank y'all for spending the day with me bye